Hi, my name is Chad Watson. Uh, I'm the president and CEO of Dive Caddy. And we've got our new uh, Gen 3 Dive Caddy here. It's the third iteration of our very successful Dive Caddy product line. And uh, basically, our whole concept is to never check your dive gear. We want to take our dive gear as carry on, uh, and basically, we never uh, get it lost, stolen, damaged, and we save those check baggage fees. So I'll jump right in here and show basically how the Dive Caddy system works and go over some of the new features with this new G3. Uh, right out of the gate, we, uh, from our Gen 2 to this new G3, we we uh, moved back to our side release buckle system that we used in our original system that was so popular. Um, we also maintained uh, a very strong double D-ring setup here on our, our spider pack uh, so that we can basically give our customers strength where they need it with the double D-rings, but yet still give them the speed to open the system uh, where they want it. So we'll go ahead and roll this uh, bag open. And uh, to release the uh, what we call the spider pack, and this is where we're going to keep two to three days worth of clothes on a domestic trip, um, I'll release three double D, or excuse me, side release buckles on the side, one on the bottom. And what we'll do then is lay it right over. And it's just got a nice zipper enclosure here. Uh, you can just pack in uh, you know, a couple, two, three days worth of clothes. Or if you don't want to use this part of the system, you can just uh, go ahead and release the, the three double D rings on the side, and the whole system comes off. So I'll go ahead and and release a few more buckles here and show you what's inside the bag. I'll do uh, two buckles here on the, the top to release the turtle pack. Um, also, while we're at this point, new for this uh, Gen 3 or G3 model, um, we incorporated what we're calling a fin tip management system. And uh, many of the fins are getting longer and longer. And the fins in this system really determine the length of it because the outside dimensions uh, of the dive caddy system are directly proportionate to what you put inside the system. So imagine a set of XL slingshots, they're gonna be two to three inches, maybe four inches even longer than the fins that I have in here. So what this new system does is it allows us to effectively reduce the length of the system by curving the fin tips down using these compression straps. It's really cool. Um, it's, it's a lot easier to show when we've got longer fins in here, but uh, we'll just keep moving here. So we'll release those buckles, and again, we're going back to opening the bag, and I'll show you what's inside of it. So I've uh, got some trim straps here, just kind of hold the corners together, and uh, we'll roll the bag out. Now, this system is TSA friendly. TSA loves this for a multitude of reasons. If there's ever anything inside the bag that they see in x-ray that they want to inspect, they can basically inspect it without having to have a garage sale at the end of the x-ray line and in the inspection line. You can inspect it in place. So what do we have in the bag? Um, Right now, in our soft goods area, which we've made several improvements to the, to the bottom enclosure of it, we uh, have beefed up the zipper stops and uh, we put a closure on the bottom. That's new for the G3. Um, we'll have more uh, detailed shots of that on our website here in the next day or two. Um, we've got a full uh, wetsuit. It's a three mil, double X tall pinnacle breaker. Uh, I've got a dive skin in here. I've got some boots nested in here. And uh, you throw a snorkel in here if you uh, choose to, to use a snorkel, um, whatever soft goods that you want. Now, as you pack this, keep in mind that because we use the gear in the bag as the structure for the bag, um, the soft goods that are here also double as the padding for your back. I mean, and it's going to be right in the middle of your back. So you'll want to be careful not to put a boot heel right in the small of your back. You'll only do that once. You figure that out. Now, as I start to put this uh, soft goods compartment back together, you'll notice that we've got some compression straps on it. And that plays into the whole point of difference with the system where we're using incremental compression to manage bulk and to keep things organized inside the system so that when we roll it up and we use these big two inch straps on the outside with the macro compression, that's how we're able to get so much gear in such a small space. So I'll move over into our, uh, our fin area. Now, new for this G3 yeah, model, we good. moved uh, the BCD area uh, and the fin area. So we basically swapped these, and I'll, I'll go into that here in just a couple minutes why, but a big portion or a big reason why is because of that fin tip management system for uh, the longer fins that we're starting to see more and more of in the industry. Uh, those two female buckles we were looking at a minute ago are here, and then here are the straps uh, that came out of the shoulder harness. So we'll jump into the fin area here. Now, in the fin management area, in the fin corral here, um, we basically uh, took a page out of the book from our, our BCD storage, and we created some flaps. In the past, we didn't do that, but as the gear's getting bigger and bigger, we're wanting to keep things really organized and tight so that we can get a good roll with the large gear in it. Now, I'll go ahead and open these flaps up. Now, I've got a set of 28-inch atomic split fins in the system here, and we've got them mounted in our fin caddy. Everybody loves our fin caddy. I'm gonna pull them up here. Everybody loves the fin caddy because of how quickly you can deploy your little stuff. It's a very simple little webbing system. Now, this is great when you're going back and forth to the dive boat or the shore dive. Uh, basically, you put all of your little stuff in the mesh bag. 
your mask, your gloves, your anti-fog, things that you might drop, or you know, your gloves, things like that. And it's helpful when you're uh, you know, nested with a bunch of other people on a dive boat and you don't have a, a garage sale situation going. Now, also on the other side of the fin caddy, we have a couple more side release buckles with straps where you can coil your life support and transport it back and forth. And it you know, keeps it from dragging the sand, so on and so forth. Another really cool thing with the uh, fin caddy is at the end of the dive, you've got salty, wet, nasty stuff. You get back to the uh, dive shop or wherever where the freshwater dunk tank is, and you dunk the whole thing all at once. It's great. It keeps it together. You're not participating in that garage sale of floating dive gear. So we'll go ahead and put that back. Now, the fin caddy also comes with a shoulder strap. I have the handle mounted on it now, but the shoulder strap makes it great if you have a camera or anything else, because then you can carry the whole system cross draw and you have your hands free. It's also great for loading gear over the transom or side of a boat. So we'll go ahead and put this guy back in here. And then we're gonna move over to the BCD area. Now the BCD area, we've beefed up quite a bit. And in addition to uh, uh, moving it, we uh, have added some, some really nice creature comforts to help keep the system uh, nice and tight and straight. Um, hourglassing is the enemy when you're trying to roll a lot of dive gear like this. So uh, one thing that is a major difference, major improvement, is that we added two inches of webbing on, in the spines of the system on either side and basically bar tacked it all the way down the spine. It makes a huge, huge improvement in durability and you can see it makes nice clean lines. Now in this system right now, again, this is our domestic, more of a cold water type system. Um, we've got a Zegel Ranger XL BCD, double X Cummerbund, use this with my dry suit, and I've got an Air 2 alternate air source. So this is far from a travel BCD. Should you put travel gear in the dive caddy, this thing gets small really fast because in essence, as you can see now, uh, it's just a gear wrapper. We don't use any uh, rigid stays, ex any extra padding, because we use the gear in the bag as the structure for the bag. That's a huge point of difference for the system and how we're able to uh, get such a, uh, a tight system. Now, the, another very big selling point for the dive caddy is that you know, a person of larger stature or a person of smaller stature can both use the same system, and because you know, the gear on the, in the inside determines the scale of the bag on the outside, uh, the bag is always in proportion to the wearer or to the user. Smaller person's got smaller gear, and because the dive caddy just wraps around the gear, their bag is gonna be smaller. So it's great for people of smaller stature, ladies, kids, so on and so forth. Okay, well we've got this pretty much back together. I'll go ahead and roll this back up and we can start seeing how the macro compression really works. And we'll go into some of the other features of the bag. So we'll go ahead and roll it up and you can see how nicely the piece is stacked. Now, one thing that TSA loves about this, guys, is that because this stacks up and because the layers are so nicely, <clears throat> excuse me, and you've got a complete set of dive gear, when this goes through the x-ray, TSA can see all the gear in context. They see the fins, they see the snorkel, they see the mask, and then when they see things that might be normally curious to them, like a spring in a regulator or the second stage, so on and so forth, <clears throat> they can understand or they can guess that it's dive gear and you don't get stopped. I mean, they you know, basically once they realize it's dive gear, they look for a knife on the BCD. If you don't have it, away you go. So it's great that, you know, although it's TSA friendly, you know, you just, they, they usually skate right, you know, you skate through. I haven't been stopped in, you know, quite a while. So go ahead and buckle this back up. Get the fin tip management system here buckled. We've got a trim strap here on the corner. Another one down here, it just keeps the system together when you get it on your back. We'll go ahead and buckle the turtle pack back up. And throw the spider bag across. Again, this is, these two are optional usage. They come with the system, but you don't always have to use them. Now, for our international customers or customers that are traveling internationally, they definitely want to leave this part off and leave this part at home because then this empty bag that normally, or an empty bag that normally weighs five to six pounds, then goes down to about two and a half pounds when you just use the core system. There's nothing else on the market that'll, uh, that'll carry this much gear at that weight and compress it and keep it tight. So, Go ahead and throw this guy back across here. Now, in the event that you find yourself in a gate check situation, what you're gonna wanna do is use our destination bag. Now, the destination bag comes with a system and it's normally intended to be used as a boat bag because you don't wanna take your dive caddy on the boat. This is something you normally take on the plane, you wanna keep it clean, you don't want that scuba funk uh, on your nice you know, polo shirt when you're traveling on the airplane. 
So this is your boat bag. This is what you're gonna transport your gear back and forth to the boat or the dive destination with. Um, but it also serves a dual purpose. If you find yourself in a gate check situation, quickly what you would wanna do while they're uh, putting the boarding pass or your uh, um, valet ticket on the back of your boarding pass, you're quickly gonna drop to your knee, you're gonna pull the, the uh, turtle pack off. Now the turtle pack is where we store our life support, we've got our mask, all kinds of stuff in here to start our general uh, diving accoutrements. The cool thing about the destination bag is it's designed, like I said, not only to be a boat bag, but also to receive a fully loaded dive caddy. So we drop this guy in here. Now you've got your gate agent who's getting ready to, uh, to uh, help you gate check this. Stand in there with the little green valet tag. You zip this bad boy up. And away they go. They put the tag on here. You're uh, successfully gate checking the situation. Now, depending on the situation, the travel situation, if you uh, or have a connecting flight, it's probably going to make it all the way to the baggage carousel at your destination. Otherwise, this is you know last on, first off. You have a 50-50 chance of getting it back right when you get off the plane. It's great. That's a you know, gate check is definitely a win with a dive caddy because you don't have to pay the check baggage fees domestically, and you know the bag is getting on the plane instead of checking it in front of the airport. So it's a great win. Now, also, if it does make it to the uh, the baggage carousel, can you guys tell me what this does not have on the outside of it? Dive flags. No dive flags. So no would-be luggage thieves are going to get away with our, uh, our expensive dive gear and it's going to protect our investment and our dive gear and our dive vacation. So after you uh, relinquish the bag to the uh, gate agent and it goes down and goes right onto the plane, you can use the shoulder strap that we talked about earlier for the fin caddy that normally it just has one point of contact. New for the G3, we uh, put a couple pieces of hardware on it that make us uh, able to use it with a couple points of contact with D-rings here. So now you can easily take your, your regs on the plane with you as a personal item. Last but not least, as far as we know, we are the only manufacturer that, re, that uh, includes a factory repair kit with their system. While our customer service and warranty is what we think second to none, that doesn't really help you when you are at your dive destination and Murphy's Law uh, rears its ugly head. So we are including uh, one piece of material for every kind of material that's on the system, webbing, uh, 420, 1680, denier, and a few buckles. Now, you can find a needle and thread anywhere in the world, not necessarily a two inch polyoxymethylene buckle that matches your dive caddy. So this is all about getting home and then send it to us and we'll have uh, our repair facility, in, uh, repair facility in Vancouver, Washington fix it and get it right back to you. So that's the primary, uh, uh, the, the main part of the system and uh, the sales presentation. If you have more questions about Dive Caddy, you can check out our website. Uh, you can email us directly. Our website is divecaddy.net and uh, the direct email address is sales at divecaddy.net.